Hello, it's Dr. Farmer again, and welcome to week three of Theories of Personality. This week, we're going to cover chapter three, Carl Jung's theory of analytic psychology. Carl Jung's theory is a little different from um, Sigmund Freud's theory in that his focus is on structures of the personality. So in this week's chapter, you'll see him list and talk about a number of structures and how those structures interact to produce the behavior that we see in human beings. Now, from my perspective, Jung made two major contributions to theories of personality. The first one was his attempt to create an objective assessment of the unconscious. Some of you guys have heard of the word association test. In the word association test, you present your client with a number of words and you look at their examples or their responses to see if they have a complex related to that particular word. For example, I might say the word mother and you might say back father or you may pause or you may say mother. All of those responses are telling of what may or may not be going on in your unconscious. Jung attempted to create an objective measure of your unconscious, which then allows us to assess your unconscious consistently, both reliably and possibly valid in a valid way. So this is the foundation really of, or the beginning of our attempts to assess personality. It all started way back with Carl Jung. The second major contribution that Jung made was this idea of a psychological type. He called them the psychotypes. And this was major because what we will see down the road in, in the coming chapters is a number of ways that we try to categorize or identify a person's personality. And so from Jung's perspective, he used six different things to create a psychotype. The first was the introversion versus extroversion. And then he had what he called the four functions of thought. Intuition, sensing, feeling, and thinking. And based on what you had in those eight areas, you combine introversion and extroversion with one of those four, sensing, thinking, feeling, and intuiting, to come up with eight types. And he said that everyone fits in, you know, pretty consistently into one of those eight categories. Make sure you take a look at the extra video that we have online that really describes Jung's ideas of psychotypes. And you'll get a very good idea or understanding of how these things work. After you read the chapter and view the video, make sure you take a look and respond to this week's online question or group discussion question, which asks you to identify a person and what psychotype they have and tell why. I'm looking forward to your responses, so let's get started.